Today marks a grim anniversary for the community of Lytton, B.C. It has been one year since a devastating fire ripped through that town. 90% of the community burned, and the village remains largely a wasteland. But residents of Lytton remain hopeful for the future. CBC's Yasmin Gandam reports. Denise O'Connor has called Lytton home her whole life. But when a fire ravaged her community, she too was forced to flee the massive blaze. A year later... We just want to build and get back into our, our properties. We just want to, we want to go home. Her hometown still looks and feels different. So to me, it's a catch-22. We're not a community without our residents, but we're also not a community without our businesses and services. We need both. And, uh, and, and I'm, I'm really concerned that about the time that it's going to take. She says it's taken too long to go back. I just keep wishing that things had moved a lot faster over this year. It's just been so slow with, with absolutely everything. Others, like Bernie Fandrich, echo the sentiment. It's been frustratingly uh, slow from, from looking at it from a business perspective. He's been helping with cleanup efforts and now offering his rafting resort as accommodation for emergency crews to support the community. We're doing what we possibly can to make things make things work and and, and help out the locals. As the community pulls together, the Insurance Bureau of Canada assures there is now a path to begin the recovery for Lytton. It explains the slower pace of recovery was partly due to additional costs to find and preserve Indigenous artifacts. While the process has taken time, residents and business owners are hopeful their community will flourish once again. For me, I, I believe we can reproduce the museum much like it was before. Lorna Fandrich owns the Lytton Chinese History Museum, which was destroyed in the fire. But now she rebuilds and looks ahead. There will be some items that we just can't replace. She continues to preserve what's left behind. I wanted to be one of the businesses that returned to Lytton, and I'm hoping that all of the businesses will be able to return. The community remains on edge, but continues to fight for Lytton to rise from the ashes. Yasmin Gandam, CBC News, Vancouver. Thankfully, it has been a slow start to the wildfire season in British Columbia. And as a result, many fire crews are helping out elsewhere, including a large team on the ground in Yukon, where there has been significant fire activity this month. A fire behavior analyst and a 20-person crew are on the scene to help out. Good for them. This is... CBC News Network.